Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards Reloaded. So I actually had to replay all the way back here because I made the foolish foolish assumption that the game would uh -oh, autosave. The dog. In Lost yes, we know. Pear is but anyway, yes, I had I made the assumption that the game would auto save, uh, which was I guess not really that silly of me. But anyway, I should have saved just to be safe. Long story short, I had to replay it. Let him piss on me again, because I like smelling like dog piss. Oh, that's bear always spreading sunshine. So I'm going to. Actually, we talked to this guy. Excuse me. We bought the box of wine. Let's give it to this guy. He want, he mentioned wanting some alcohol. He seems to be happy with this. Oh look, Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Syrupy and reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kind of this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, oh. here's a thank you from me to you. The drunk in the in the the bar. What the hell? One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine French army knife. Wow, thanks. I wouldn't count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. Nice, let's take a look at it. Oops, wrong thing. Uh... Five blades, seven attachments, three screwdrivers, two saws, a toothpick, a tweezer, plus more. Much, much more. Okay. I forget what was, um... Full of information. Details of thievery. Do it yourself. About how you can make your own perfume with flowers and alcohol. Also mentions the addition of whale vomit. Okay. Look at this ring. When you gaze deep into the diamond, you seem to hear the sound of wedding bells and maybe diesel trucks. Look at the apple. This red delicious is not suitable for your Granny Smith, but someone with a Macintosh might find it appropriate. Remote. Operating on the principle of line of sight infrared transmission, the remote control baffles you completely, in part because it's currently dead. Now let's look at the rose. This rose is the... This rose is this rose is this rose, okay? All right, so I think we've done pretty much everything over here. I only want to go back in and see if I can buy another box of wine. Most likely if I don't need it, it won't let me buy it. That's how adventure games work. If you can't use it, it won't it won't let you use it. You've got you know as much I mean. use out of these wine boxes as you can. Okay. In other words, you no longer need any more wine in a box. You lonely, lonely bastard. All right, let's get on the taxi. Oh, wait, that's the phone. Shit. Went the taxi. Taxi. Taxi! Don't want to spend all my money on the taxi, though. Because I think you can get stuck if you're not careful. Wedding ready. <laughs> Guano Bell. Damn, I can't go there. The Comedy Bladder? What the what kind of a name is that? Right, let's go to the wedding place. It's right next to Caesar's Phallus. Always low overhang. Always. The nice. Oh, nice! I just realized the road looks That'll like a penis. Bucks, please. All right. Let's get him his money. Thanks, kid. Again, I'm assuming if you try to get out, he's something bad will happen. Hello. Keep your hands to yourself, Larry. This isn't supposed to be an interactive display. Yikes. Now you know what they mean when they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be four heads? Oh, never mind. Let's go in the wedding. Wedding ready. Over one billion served. The chapel is cool and placid inside. 
The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. All right, let's take a look around. I like how it's got the slot machine in here, in the church chapel. It's a video slot machine. Have they no shame? Uh, it actually says hitched slots on the it, too. The pews are cordoned off with decorative ribbons. This is to prevent anyone from actually using the pews, which might then require that they be cleaned or otherwise tended to. <laughs> the timber-lined walls are finished with artificially aged adobe-colored stucco. It's like getting married in a bad Italian restaurant. Like Olive Garden. These were stolen from the Liberace Museum. It's arrangement number 47 from the catalog of silk floral arrangements that are guaranteed to burn the house down. <laughs> it's a durable quality lectern from Stern Lecterns. Remember, when you want to deliver a lecture at a lectern, make it a Stern Lecture. Wow. Those new PFLs, penile fluorescent lights, get very bright and generate a lot of heat, but they burn out quickly. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Penile lights? Really? You're not making any speeches today. Uh, I'm assuming I can't use the pew either. You check carefully for free Bibles, fans, prayer cards, or thumbscrews. No luck. Son of a bitch. Fine. Get out of here. So nothing in there, as far as I can tell. Let's look at the trash. Papers, cans, and even the occasional syringe give the curb a warm, welcoming feel. Is that a... I want that syringe. You don't need any of that litter. At least not now. Wow, how did I miss this girl devil statue? What the hell's wrong with me? You reach into the storm drain and feel around. Hmm. Jimmy Hoffa's dead body? Some box with the name Al Capone on And an aviator cap. Yeah. We did that joke somewhere else. I'm not going to read all this, the stars, but the stars are... And in fact, a lot of the NPCs are actually uh, contributors to the Kickstarter. Thank you. Congratulations, Larry. You finally found a woman who will never press charges. That's Nama, the demon goddess of prostitution. Or possibly the sculptor's ex-wife. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Keep going. There we go. Uh, there's an alley. We know to stay away from that. These gorgeous, exotic West Polynesian dong catchers are thriving in the desert heat. It's nice to know something is thriving around here. Yeah, let's go in Caesar's Phallus. Wait, I don't think I want to go into Caesar's Phallus. Damn. What's up, ladies? Hey, keep your icons off of me, creep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I'm in love. Let's smell her. Before she knows what you're doing, you sneak in a quick lick. <laughs> Do that again and I'll snap your tongue like a twig. My tongue doesn't snap. It does after I pull it out of your face and keep it in the freezer overnight. You're twisted. I like that. You like anything that breathes. You're perceptive. I like that too. <laughs> hey, keep your eye... Uh, or liquor again. Before she knows what you do, that again. My tongue. It does. You're twisted. You like any. Your percept. Can I unzip on her? She looks down at your equipment and starts to laugh. Hey, it's not supposed to be funny. Then why is there a clown nose on the end of it? Oh, sorry. That's just more of you. <laughs> oh, wow. I know how that feels, buddy. Your skin is as soft as silk. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. I rub it with cream of some young guy every night. Wow. I don't know what that is. Me either, really. This guy I used to date gives it to me in unlabeled jars. Really seems to love it when I smear it all over and rub it in. <laughs> I don't get it. I think I do. <laughs> wow. Uh... Wow. As the kids say these days, hubba hubba and bubba ba boom. <laughs> Larry, wipe your chin. You're drooling again. Uh, lick. You lead in close and sniff. Cut it out, guy. <laughs> Not awkward at all. You show your goods to the babe. Oh, it's like a toy one. How cute. <laughs> it's like a toy one. I guess we could play a little slots. Or this couldn't possibly go well. I don't know what pay table means, but this... 
be. These video slot machines make it all too easy. At least when you had to pull a bit. All right. Yeah, I'm like almost out of money. Oh, that's right, pay table, right? Okay, let's get out of here before I lose even more money. Uh, putrid. Oy vey. Let's try blackjack. So here's this phallus blackjack. Press the arrows to increase or decrease your bet. Press deal when ready to play. Press stay to see house rules before playing. You know what? Let's not be stupid. Uh, and let's save oh, first. That's lethal. What's lethal? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. See, I actually saved it this time. All right, so let's see. That's great. That's not one of the buttons that makes this device operate. Let's go all the way. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, aren't I supposed to stay on those? God damn it. You don't right. need to do All right, all right. You've been smoking a Slim Jim or something? Hey, Slim Jims are awesome. You shut your goddamn whore mouth, son. All right, oh, I just want to do it. That's lethal. It's just my breath, sweetheart. You know what? I'm tired of you guys' bullshit. There, ladies. Ah. Happier now? Alright, I just want to do this until I win once. I'm not going to abuse this. Theoretically. Well, even though technically I am abusing this. You know what I mean. 16, that's even less... Well, I have to hit. Right? Because he has 19? Yeah. I guess he did have 19. Even though it didn't show me the other card, I didn't quite understand that. All right, one more time. If I fail this time, I will uh, cut out enough to do it at least again right. once. Putrid. Yes, Boy, yes. Fuck off. I'll do with it in a minute. Ooh. Oh, for God's sakes. Is this like impossible to win? Oh, well, okay. I thought because we were even- Oh, I think if we're even, the house has to hit? I, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. But we're fine now. Alright, so let's get the breath mint. A slim gym or something? And I fucking love Slim Jims. I want one right now, actually. Thanks for that. Uh, go ahead and use this on yourself. And the mouth, preferably. Ah. Took me a long time to realize breath fresheners were not for the anus. Okay, let's go ahead and save now that we got our money back. Now, I assume you could just abuse that and make tons of money. All right, let's check these other people ah, out. He's obviously a tourist. Look how he's dressed. So schlumpy and out of place. I wonder what bingo parlor she wandered out of. Larry, that could be you in 20 years or much, much sooner. Oh, man, that hair is so 70s. Wow. Don't touch the fabric. That's an original Paul Horning Notre Dame jersey. So I'm not up on all the latest fashion designers. Sorry. Oops. Any luck on that machine? Yes. All bad. If I wasn't on the casino's board of directors, I probably wouldn't even bother playing. Uh. Hello, ma'am. How are the slots treating you today? Get bent, loser. Excuse me. Did I say something to offend you? Cram it! Am I disturbing your rhythm or something? Yes. And your breath smells like a sea urchin died in your mouth. And you tried to cover up the rotten stink with lemon pledge. You're fun! 
You don't look like you're having much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? I sell software. I'm just in lost wages to try to find true love. Tell me about it. I just did. So, like, are you some sort of counterculture type? Rebelling against injustice by symbolically giving the man the finger with your freakish hairstyle? Nah, I just like pissing off my mom. Yeah. Screw you, mom. You don't understand. The slot machines back here look so small. Are they? Or is it just a trick of perspective? I'm so confused. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, let's walk back there. Now that's a fancy elevator. It looks sleek and brand new. Hell yeah, I want to swim out there with the whales and the girls in bikinis. You take the piece of paper. Let's see what that piece of paper says. Membership card will get you into one of Lost Wages' finest and thankfully only Disco the Quest. Awesome. Ooh, buffet? Shit, yeah. That's the one reason I'd love to go to Vegas is the buffets. I don't gamble. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. To Chef Jeff's mm. American Tavern Bar and Grill <laughs> with the all day, all night buffet. TV chef Jeff Hillary's first Lost Wages restaurant features many of the signature dishes from his popular program. Kapwing! More onion powder! But oh no! Somebody has spilled 12 globs of food that aren't from the buffet! Can you find all the poorly hidden globs of extra food? <laughs> I don't know if you're being serious or... Congratulations! You found a sample of Chicago-style food. A five-inch thick blob of underbaked pizza crust with bratwurst oil dribbled all over it. Mm. Congratulations! You found a sample of American Chinese food. Um, uh, yes. Said. Congratulations! You found a sample of good old American Midwest cuisine. Molten urinal cake. Congratulations! You found a sample of cozy Maine cuisine. Old chum. Congratulations! You found a sample of Northeastern cuisine. New England clam chowder. Clam chowder. That just sounds disgusting. Why would you eat something that sounds that gross? Congratulations! You found a sample of American Southern cooking. Roadkill in a dishwasher. Hey, don't be dissing Southern cooking now, bitch. Congratulations! You found a sample of the politically correct vegan's delight, locally discarded kimchi. Ugh. Screw you, vegans. Congratulations! You found a sample of Nolan's Fair, fried green lunch meat. Congratulations! You found a sample of great traditional French food, creme brulee. Congratulations! You found a sample of nouvelle cuisine, deconstructed glop. Congratulations! You found a sample of lutefisk. Congratulations! You found a sample of modernist cuisine, toast-filled ravioli on buttermilk froth. Oh god, that actually sounds pretty good. You win the Leisure Suit Larry Disgusting Buffet Hidden Object Game. You get a bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Is it bad that I, like, am still looking at this and thinking, Oh god, I could really use a buffet right now. Is that, is that wrong? Come back some other day when you have a buffalo cold. You can't take it. The kid stays in the picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> the kid. Young goat. Sorry. It's good old Jewish American cuisine, buffalo chicken soup. Oh. It's a recipe stolen from Wolfgang Schmuck, oven roasted ginger with Marianne. As there are <laughs> a lot of gamblers here from the Mideast, it's not unusual to see a warming tray of awful falafel waffle a la a la. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. As there are a lot of gamblers here from the Mideast, oh, I did that nobody one. knows what's really under that deep-fried batter. But if you ask them in the kitchen, they'll say, You mean the anchovy nuts? And burst into uncontrollable laughter. This is just a virulent bin of last week's house-made mac and hollandaise, separating and clumping and curdling as we speak. These lightly sautéed ragweed sprouts in a light lemon and histamine dressing will bring tears to your eyes and nose. <laughs> this rich, gluey dish is paste of yesterday's root vegetables. 
This is one of the most popular dishes in Lost Wages, roasted lamb skank in a tart sauce. It's an example of fusion cuisine, miso sari. <laughs> it's just a bin of factory dried and flaked jicama that was reconstituted, extruded, puzzled over, and finally chucked in a saucepan with some leftover fish broth. It's a bin of hearty, stick to your teeth, steel cut goat meal. This tray of Newman E. Alfredo has been sitting here for 50 years. What, you're worried? Oh, nice. That was a mad magazine reference. You can believe that. But they really are going back. It's the restaurant's special experiment of the day, Chef's Regrets. The buffet features that popular appetizer from the 60s, Liver in a Blanket. I do love Pig in a Blanket, holy shit. It's one of Imria Legacy's recipes, okra mucus and aspic. It's a bin of quinoa. Just quinoa. Ugh. No. Anything but that. Mmm. Whatever it is, it's got that milky, opaque look of semi-liquid scallops, only with a yellowish skin on it. It's a squeeze bottle with ketchup and water in a three to seven ratio. <laughs> This squeeze bottle is designed to hold just enough mustard to make a loud farting sound whenever it's squeezed. <laughs> this draws disgusted stares and discourages repeat use. <laughs> uh, I found that more amusing than I probably should have. <laughs>